Well, friends, let me show you what we got. These are Valcrum, I think is how you say it. Caps. See right there. Valcrum, I think is the only way, or Valcrum, I don't know. I'm going to go with Valcrum, is the way you pronounce that. But these are the caps. You've probably seen them advertised here or there because I see them advertised everywhere. I don't know if it's because I bought some and now the internet knows. But they come with the little red cap. Kind of cool. You get the option of a grease zerk or a plug, depending if you have oil bath or grease. This was the only socket I got. It's not a true socket for this job, but goes over it and it fits the last i checked it was like uh 35 or i want to say 35 or 37 foot pounds uh to get these on there just tighten them up Let's see if i can carry all this shit in one hand because we're going to the other side of the trailer i can't let me put the phone down okay we're on the other side now i already went ahead and broke that cap loose so we can get it to start draining because I'm replacing that lube with some synthetic stuff. So I want to get as much of that out as I can. Take a look at this cap here. The overall impression is uh, built pretty well. Looks pretty good. Damn mosquitoes. I don't see any you know, weird spots like any barbs or anything sticking out. So you kind of get an idea here that they seem to be pretty well made. Um, we'll see if they dissipate heat any better since they're aluminum instead of plastic. Oh, look how it says right there, 30, 40 foot pounds. But the reason you invest in these is those plastic ones have the potential to break. They can crack or, you know, if you start getting real warm, what's plastic do when it gets hot? It starts to, you know, shrink and disform. And these can potentially, you know, fall apart. And these ones, the idea is that they won't. You can't, can't break the threads on here. You put them on, they should last forever. Forever and a half, maybe, who knows. You get yourself a little drain plug here, so you shouldn't have to take it off. Let this finish draining, get this on there and see how it looks. All right, just about halfway done. Well, actually, I am halfway done. I got the two fronts done because they're easy. Since it's a lift axle, I can put it in the air and spin it. I don't have to use the jack. Another thing worth noting on here, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but uh, pull this back out. You can see hell. I don't think this one has one. There's supposed to be a magnet in there. Hold on. Let's hope it's not inside of the cap. Oh, there it is. It's actually stuck to the trailer. So, this magnet, which is actually pretty strong, goes inside of the little rubber cap and you know any metal shavings you know as time goes on we get there's that there it is stuck to that and it's just a tiny little thing as you can see so i'm gonna throw that on there but kind of couple nice features you know a little drain plugs pretty cool that'll be handy having that metal guy in there a magnet guy in there would be pretty nice and you can see the difference between the caps is, you know, not that much. Exact same shape and all that. It's just one's plastic, one's not. And one looks cool, one looks okay-ish. So we'll get on to this one next. And they do make these for the, I want to say it's the 7K, 8K, 10K, 12K, and 15K axles. And these are the 15Ks. And they went on there great. Went on hand tight, and then I torqued them to 35. Once it clicked, I gave it just a little snug more and worked out. 
We'll drop this axle for the end of this video. And we're back on the ground. And that is just ear piercing loud. But right. I'm gonna clean this mess up at some point too. Anyways, that's the end of it. Any questions, put them in the comments. All right, so this is actually uh, about a 5,000 mile update on how these caps did. And last night, unfortunately, I washed the trailer, or at least most of it. I started with the wheels, so everything's actually all pretty, and I should have got a picture or a video of how it looked before. Uh, you can see there's still water in the wheel from last night. Anyways, they seem to be a really good cap. The only thing that I'm wondering about them is you can't tell on here but you can see they're kind of stained dirty and what happens this one's really dirty is oil comes out of them so i don't know if they're not sealing properly or or what but it's not very much it's just over the course of you know five thousand miles they're not as pretty as they are now um like i said i did wash it last night and i don't think I have any pictures I would show that they get pretty dirty around here a um, little bit of oil residue and picks up the dirt and the dust and all that so what I'm thinking of doing is trying to take the black plugs out of the other caps take two of them and put two on here and leave the red ones for comparison I'll tell you what I'm talking about you see how on this trailer these are plastic ones but you can see how this cap's just dusty. It's not, it doesn't have any oil on it. Nothing. And that plug there, it seems to be a lot tighter than the red ones. So that's really an easy fix. And I'm just trying to have an honest video here. Uh, Valcrum doesn't pay me nothing. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. Even if they did pay me, I'd still give honest reviews. I believe in honesty. But... I think the caps are great. Sorry about the wind. It's just weather for you. Uh, the caps are great. I like them. And I plan on buying them again. So far so good. It's just the, the plugs don't seem to fit as good as the black ones did. But I could be wrong. Who knows? So I'm not going to say that they're bad or anything like that. It's just they get just a little wet. I haven't looked at this side to see it. Maybe I didn't do as good of a job cleaning or not. No, this side... I did pretty good at cleaning, that's for sure. I did it. It was pretty dark when I did it. You can see how this one's got oil residue on it. But that's like... That's the least of the problems. If that's as bad as it ever gets, then you really can't complain about that. So I'll just be honest with what I think about them. I'd say I recommend buying them. This video is getting too long, so time to call it quits.